Once you understand how the algorithm works, you're practically guaranteed to double your subscribers and get monetized. And if you want proof, here are a bunch of channels we've recently shared in other videos that have done exactly that. In fact, a lot of these channels have been able to hit a thousand subscribers with a single video, which brings up a pretty big question. What do these channels understand about the YouTube algorithm that you don't that's helping them gain thousands of subscribers and get monetized so fast? Well, after studying these channels for the past few months, I think it's time to finally reveal the seven algorithm hacks we found that they're using to get such incredible results. That way you'll have a clear path to double your subscribers in the next 60 days. Starting with don't niche down. Now I know this sounds weird, but if you want to double your subscribers in the next 60 days, then I highly recommend you don't make videos that only target your niche. Instead, you want to make videos that appeal to a much wider audience. That way the algorithm has more options to promote your video and it has a higher chance of going viral. But let me just uh, give you an example to kind of clear this up. So this is Andrew and he makes permaculture videos, which is a pretty niche topic with a pretty limited audience. And when he made videos that only appeal to permaculture enthusiasts, his results were decent, but nothing extraordinary. But look what happened when he focused the packaging of this video to not only target permaculture enthusiasts, but a much broader audience. This is now his best performing video with over 14 million views. So the first algorithm hack to double your subscribers is to package your video in a way that not only appeals to your niche audience, but also appeals to people outside of your niche. That way, the algorithm has a much broader audience to show your video to, and it has a much higher chance of going viral. All right, so the next algorithm hack to double your subscribers is to find and test outlier videos. This is by far the biggest algorithm hack we've noticed these small channels using to fast track their growth and get monetized. In fact, this is exactly how Chris Takes Off was able to monetize his channel with a single video. As you can see, Chris clearly used the video on the left as inspiration for his video and it worked like magic. But the only problem is it can take hours and hours of research to find good outlier videos. And if you're someone who works full time, I'm sure the last thing you wanna do is come home from work and spend hours looking for video ideas. But luckily there is a tool that does this for you and it's free. Let me show you how it works. So first you download the vidIQ browser extension, it's free. And then you're gonna start seeing these little numbers pop up under every video. Now these little numbers tell you how this video is performing compared to that channel's average. But here's the cool part. It shows up on every YouTube page, not just the front page. So that way when you're just kind of casually watching YouTube, you can keep an eye out for cool ideas when you see a massive outlier score. Now the way that I do this is I just take a little screen cap and I keep it in a folder. You could probably just right click and copy that link address if you want to. I just, I like to see the thumbnail, so that's what I do. But yeah, endless outliers to generate ideas. Okay, cool. Now, after analyzing the Chris Takes Off video just a little bit more, you'll start to notice that there's one important step that he took after finding that outlier video, and that is a huge reason why his video took off. Which brings me to the next algorithm hack to double your subscribers. Your video must be unique. If you've ever tried to recreate an outlier video and it didn't go viral, this is why. <laughs> You just remade something that's already made. See, outliers, they get big because they're new and unique, but as creators pile on top of it, copy after copy, it starts to lose its appeal. So if you simply copy an outlier without adding anything to it, then it kind of loses its outlierness. I don't know if that's a word, but that's what it loses. The trick is to take the outlier as inspiration and make your own thing with it. Let's jump back to the Chris Takes Off example and I'll show you what I mean. Take a look at these two videos again and tell me what made Chris's example unique. If you said thumbnail, you'd be wrong. It's actually the fact that his video was a part of a series. He made 14 videos with each documenting the next cheapest flight. So this new angle on that outlier just kind of gave it a fresh twist. And not only that, but the people that were recommended the second video actually went back and watched the first, which told the algorithm that people enjoy this content. And so it just kept putting, putting it out there, which was like a domino effect. Well, more like a, a circle. So once you find your outlier video, don't just copy it. Think about how you can add your own unique twist to it. Otherwise, chances are that video, it won't go viral. All right, so the hacks that we've just covered will get you clicks, but we need to make sure that people will watch once they've clicked. And the way that we do that is by applying the next algorithm hack, which is finding the right subtopics. Chances are if your video is less than a thousand views, it's because you're picking subtopics that aren't interesting to your audience. They might click the video, but they'll abandon it halfway through or even before that. And that tanks your average view duration. And then the algorithm's like, yeah, 
Well, what's up with this one? I gotta stop promoting this crap. It's, it's crap. <laughs> so how do we find interesting subtopics that keep our audience engaged? <laughs> Luckily, it's pretty simple. So we're gonna go to the YouTube search bar and we're gonna type our topic. Cool. Okay, now what we're gonna do is go over to the filter and we're gonna select for the past year. And then we're gonna open the top three performing videos in new tabs. Then we'll go to the first one and we'll hover over the play bar and we'll see where the retention spikes are, all right? Now the spikes indicate that that's where the audience was most engaged. So we'll click there and we'll listen to it and we'll see what they talk about. Write that down, then do it for the next two videos. Then you have three subtopics that are super interesting to your niche's audience. And all you gotta do is do more research on those topics. And then you'll have a killer video with three subtopics that will keep them engaged all the way through. Once again, I just have to reiterate that you should do your own research. Don't just repeat what another video says. There's probably something that that video didn't cover. Make it your own. Give people something new. This tip alone will help skyrocket your average view duration, which will help the algorithm promote your videos to more people. But this tip alone isn't the only way to raise your view duration. In fact, there is a secret strategy that YouTubers are using to keep their audience engaged throughout their entire video. Which brings me to the next algorithm hack to double your subscribers, and that is viral storytelling. Not just storytelling, viral storytelling. There's a difference. Let's figure it out. Basically, stories are one of the best engagement tools on the, well, I'd say the best engagement tool on the planet. And that's because we've been using stories to share information for thousands of years and our brains are just primed to listen to them. It's just, it's, it's, stories are entertaining. They've been longer. Stories are older than radio, so top YouTubers have been using them to keep viewers engaged and uh, therefore they get more views. For example, this channel used storytelling to hit 2.6 million views on their very first upload. And after breaking it down just a little bit more, I noticed that they used a very specific framework that actually made it go viral. And after doing that, I started looking at other small channels that were blowing up and they were using it too. For example, Out of Bounds used this exact same storytelling framework in every one of their videos and it's helped them get over 25,000 subscribers in just eight videos. Eight, eight. So what is this secret viral framework that these channels are using? Well, let's break it down, okay? It's called the three-act structure, but it's not the normal uh, setup, confrontation, resolution three-act structure. Now, for a viral video, it's hook, story, resolution. If you watch the Market Whisper or any of the Out of Bounds videos, the structure will become clear, the hook. Okay, all their videos simply just start by teasing the most exciting moments of the video. So you kind of understand what's to be expected and you want to stick around to see that, the story. Then after the hook, instead of revealing everything right at the beginning, they start right back from the start of the story and then they slowly build, releasing little bits at a time. And this kind of keeps the audience engaged, waiting for the big payoff, the resolution. Finally, the things that were teased in the hook are revealed to the audience. Now, this framework is super powerful at boosting your average view duration, which is why a lot of big YouTubers are using it to get the algorithm to promote their videos. But it's the next hack that will practically guarantee that you'll double those subscribers in the next 60 days. And that is doubling down on viral formats. This is because when you produce a viral video, the algorithm has already confirmed that your audience enjoys that. The algorithm is like, it's the most perspective you can have. And you might not know why certain things work, but when they work, it's, it's something to pay attention to. So when you post a video in a similar format, the algorithm already knows that your audience enjoys it. And so it will push it to more people. This is the exact algorithm hack that channels like Frankie C have used to fast track the growth of their channel. For example, take a look at these two videos. The video on the left was Frankie's first video ever on his channel, and it went viral. It was huge, and it proves to the algorithm that this was a format that his audience loved. So four months later, he decides to post the same format again with a slight twist, and it went even more viral than the first. This algorithm hack has helped channels like Ryan Trahan or Sunny V2 gain millions and millions of subscribers, and hopefully it'll help you too. Now, the seventh algorithm hack is probably the most difficult, but it produces the best results by far. And it's the reason that the channels I've shared in this video have achieved the success that they did in such a short amount of time. And that's because they are obsessed 
with YouTube. They know that YouTube is one giant competition, and if you want to dominate your niche and have the algorithm promote your videos over theirs, then you need to be able to create better videos than your competitors. That means coming up with better ideas, better titles and thumbnails, and having better content in your videos. And the only way to do that is to study these things like crazy. So what do you need to study to be the best creator in your niche? Well, it's things like number one, learn how to create engaging titles and thumbnails, super important. Number two, um, learn how to write engaging scripts. Now scripts not only help those who use scripts, but it also helps those who don't like uh, a let's player. Knowing how to write a, a super awesome intro could help let's players beat their competition. I'm just saying there are so many let's play videos where it's just like, hey, today I'm playing this and I'm gonna do this. It's like, dude, if you if you just prepared a little bit you beat everybody okay number three is learning how to edit better than your competition now just let me say better doesn't mean more complicated i just just want to get that out there but uh if there was like only one thing that i could give you to study that would help you beat your competition and and get you monetized as soon as possible it would be the strategy we share in this video right here tell rob i said hey